it's Mandy Lager from Around Town with Mandy. Today we have stopped at the Goodwill Fire Company, a landmark in Centerville. I am here with Mr. Dan Tabler, one of the longest serving members of the fire department, and he's just going to give us a little bit of history about this fire company. Good morning, Mr. Dan. Good morning, Mandy. Fantastic. So give us um, exactly why is it called Goodwill Fire Company? Well, that's something I can't answer. I, as far as I know, whenever I joined, when I joined 70 years ago, it was still Goodwill. I don't think it was ever called Centerville Fire Company. It's always been Goodwill. Uh, our, our, first, uh, our first home, the firehouse, was the old opera house, uh, which has burned down, as you know, uh, next to Ed, Edwards Pharmacy there. Uh, it moved uh, over to uh, here on the corner. There was a, a building on this corner over here on, on Liberty and uh, Broadway, and we moved over there. And uh, then we built this firehouse in 1948 and have added, uh, well, we've added to it twice since that time for all the equipment we have. Now, how long have you been serving in the fire company? Well, I've been serving 70 years. It's about time I got paid, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And what is one of your favorite events that the fire company does or you enjoy doing? Oh, we always have these big fundraisers, you know. That's always fun to have a fundraiser. Uh, we're, we're, in fact, today we're working on the, our chicken barbecue, which we have uh, twice a year in the spring and the fall. Uh, then we're going to have another uh, cash bash in, uh, I believe, next April probably, uh, as John can tell you more about that. Fantastic, fantastic. And um, the building itself, how many, um, do you know about how many members the building is active in the fire company? or? I believe we have 75, 70, 75 members now on the roster. Uh, we're always looking for new members, and uh, they can come to the firehouse and get an application anytime anybody would like to join. Fantastic. So with the times changing, they are definitely looking for volunteers, as I'm here with John Savak, and he's going to give us some information of how, if you're in the community and you're interested in joining and help serve the fire department, um, how some information to get a hold of them. Morning, John. Morning, Mandy. How you doing? Great. So Good. how can they contact or get a hold of someone at the fire company to volunteer? You can always talk to one of the members we have here or just stop by the firehouse or go to our website, and certainly we can get application that way. And people have to understand, too, that when you volunteer, you're not volunteering necessarily to go on calls such as fire runs or ambulance, but we need a lot of volunteers to help us with our fundraisers. For instance, the truck that's in back of us now is the newest truck we have, and that's cost over $750,000 for us to get that truck. And that's a lot of money to spend for one piece of apparatus. The other equipment we have here, some is as old as 25 or 30 years old, and will have to be replaced at some time. So we're asking for people retired people, active people, whatever, bring your children. You know, we have a large family here to support each other too. But we do a lot of fundraisers, as Dan had mentioned. We're doing chicken barbecue today. I'll be starting our pancake breakfast next um, third Sunday in October and third Sunday every, every month. We're going to do our first bull and oyster roast we haven't had for a while, November 12th. We have information about that coming out. And as mentioned, we're going to do a cash bash in April. So we're trying to make the firehouse the center of social activity as it once was. Dan could probably tell you the number of events we had here over the years, such as bingos and the various fundraisers, how active that was. And we're trying to reinstate that, but we need help to run those things. Obligation-wise, an hour a month is a big, big time commitment, but it'll be a big help for us. So anybody interested, certainly give us a call, see one of the members, go to the website, or just call us or stop in. No problem. Perfect. So again, the Goodwill Fire Company, a landmark in Centerville. I appreciate Mr. Dan and Mr. John stopping out. Remember, if you're looking to volunteer for the community, this is a wonderful organization. Stop out. We'll see you next week.